Good afternoon, meteorologist Hunter Ward coming to you January 26th, our afternoon update. I've got my snowfall map ready for you guys, so I'll release that here during this update. And uh, we'll talk about this deformation feature, northwest flow snow that's going to be moving into Asheville tomorrow evening. Looks like uh, around rush hour, maybe 3, 4, 5 p.m. and then progressing through the evening, <clears throat> the chance for heavy snow for all of Western North Carolina looks to be there. So uh, we'll focus on the uh, short range NAM and uh, try to compare that with some other short range models and, uh, and what it's showing. And I'll also put out uh, my SOFAL map, like I said, and uh, we'll show you that throughout this episode. Let's go ahead and turn around to my screen. I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Cruise and Company, and Time to Travel. Uh, I want to thank them for sponsoring the website. Not a... Uh, warm day around western north carolina kind of uh somewhat nasty and uh you know highs really in the uh mid 40s up or low 50s so not really that nice but the skies are nice around Asheville. so uh, but if you're working outside a little bit of a chill grimes tice anderson camera you can see the sunset setting there over Asheville. banner elk live.com banner elk.com live camera with grandfather mountain there in the background and uh Remember, if you watched the update before this, we uh, showed you the new Canton camera, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, downtown Canton camera. Sunsets right there over Canton, so a beautiful view there. Here's the Blaylock Excavation camera as well that uh, is out in the Waynesville area, kind of looking overlooking the Waynesville Valley. Uh, Cabbage Rose camera, pretty day around Western North Carolina. Uh, all of that Riverside Community Farm camera showing the uh, the greenhouse there and uh, then uh, the Bryson City Better Homes and Gardens Bryson City camera out there so lots of cameras going up we've got a couple more that'll be going up as well we got a Marthaler Jeweler camera that'll be going up to give you a view of Hendersonville Road in Fletcher and then we've got a new one that'll be coming up for uh, sponsorship an I-40 camera uh, over in Swan and O will be installing at the end of this week. So uh, give me a uh, shout, uh, hunter at ashfieldwx.com if you're interested in sponsoring that one. So uh, let's go ahead, look at the models and kind of what they're showing. Actually, let, I'll show you my snowfall map here. Um, right now, let's pull that up and uh, get my most recent snowfall map out. This is kind of how I think this event's going to unfold. Total wise, may need to be adjusted a little bit as we uh, as we move forward but uh, this is kind of my thoughts right now I think it's a one to three event for Asheville uh, Alexander Lester Weaverville community could end up with two to four inches from that northwest flow on the back side I think one to three inches will be possible around Hendersonville one to three inches Brevard um, a dusting to two inches in Silva. Bryson City could be right on that line. Typically don't do that well with these type of events, but I think that the model could be struggling to resolve that deformation feature a little bit. So I've got you guys on the one to three dusting two line. Franklin, I think, will be in the dusting to two inches. Andrews, the same. Uh, as you progress north and towards the Tennessee border, more snow will pile up. Marshall, uh, Madison County, I think we'll see two to four inches. Burnsville as well could see two to four inches. Banner Elk right on that line of two to four, three to six. Some of these locations could get pounded with that northwest flow that uh, some of the models aren't even resolving yet. Uh, the NAM 3KM isn't that far out. So uh, like I said, may need to adjust these a little bit more. May need to up that to a four to eight plus zone, but that's kind of what my thoughts are right now. Marion, Morganton, I think that deformation feature is going to enhance a little bit for you guys. Uh, we may see a little bit of dry slotting here in Hickory where dusting to two inches could be possible, but some reformation of that uh, deformation feature here where one to three, uh, those higher end totals could be possible. Charlotte, Statesville, all of this is variable and uh, still trying to get an idea exactly of how to nail this down, but these are just my kind of my preliminary thoughts on uh, how the system's going to traverse the mountains of western North Carolina and then kind of what, what it'll leave in its tracks. And uh, then we'll have northwest flow that affects western North Carolina through the day Saturday for many locations, especially along that North Carolina-Tennessee border within about 10 to 15 miles 
uh, in those higher elevation locations could really rake in that snowfall. So we'll see as that low pressure deepens off the coast, those winds will enhance across the area and we'll see gusts Saturday uh, of 30 to 40 miles per hour in isolated locations. So a bitter day to be outside. Saturday uh, looks like a good day to stay inside and uh, stay warm if you can. So some of the coldest air of the season moving in as well. We'll look at uh, the models here and uh, let's let's show you guys kind of what the NAM is is showing as far as uh, precipitation wise. So I'll run this out. This is the uh, simulated radar here and uh, you can see a real strong band of precipitation 3 4 5 6 p.m. 7 8 heavy snow around Asheville 9 10 11 12 all of these showing that heavy snow with that deformation feature developing this is this is the long range um NAM 3km so we'll have to take this with a grain of salt but I do think it's resolving uh this feature somewhat correctly over the mountains of western North Carolina, I think there will be something there and then the northwest flow will move in and, and somewhat enhance on this backside. Uh, but as far as you know how the precipitation is going to fall, I think this is a, a good representation of how you could possibly have this calm ahead develop on the backside that extends all the way back into western North Carolina with the northwest flow coming through and uh, that could drop a couple inches of snowfall all around western North Carolina. So let's show you what the uh, what the snowfall map shows as well for this. So you can see it as snow falls Friday and into Saturday. Uh, at the end of this model we've got you know close to two inches uh, and a real scattered bout of snow but one to two inches widespread one to three event all around western north carolina and then we'll have northwest flow this this model doesn't go out that far but we'll have northwest flow that begins saturday along north carolina tennessee border counties and i think that we'll begin to pick up even more snowfall uh within probably it may even reach into places like alexander lester weaverville and uh, you know maybe even to, into downtown Asheville as the day progresses Saturday. We'll have to watch that on these short range models to kind of get a better idea moving forward how, uh, how exactly this is going to unfold. But it does, the, the short range models seem to be picking up this deformation feature and uh, the Northwest flow beginning to pick up on the back side. So let's show you, uh, this is the short, the, the high res NAM. Let's show you what the uh, longer range NAM shows. And this is kind of what the system shows moving into the day Friday, similar, but um, this model doesn't get the deformation feature going as pronounced as what the NAM 3KM shows. It's a little bit quicker with the system, brings it through real fast, and then doesn't really allow too many hours of snowfall, like you know, more, more South Asheville, Hendersonville, Transylvania County getting in on the snowfall action with a little bit of a dry slot in between the northwest flow and the uh, deformation feature. So be mindful of that. We'll nail down um, my accumulation map here in the next uh, few days, or sorry, the next 24 hours, and then I'll try to have something that we can stick with and uh, kind of go from there. Let's show you what this model showed as far as total snowfall accumulation for Asheville. So, you know, a very light dusting and then more so for Haywood and Henderson County, that Henderson County is more off the deformation feature. So, like I said, we really need to watch these, these short range models as we progress in the next uh, 24 hours. I may need to adjust my snowfall totals. As you can see, we've got an East Coast blizzard that could be possible. But as you look, you know, a matter of you know, 20 or 30 miles, uh, and this forecast is going to be extremely difficult for a meteorologist all up the East Coast. I do think we'll see this tick back a little bit west and uh, a lot of those coastal areas will get in on some big time snowfall totals and I think totals in the uh, upper teens will be possible in places like Boston. So something to watch for there as a uh, strong nor'easter, possibly even blizzard-like conditions develop 
uh, across the east coast and we will even experience those high winds in western north carolina as that low deepens out here in the atlantic all those winds will will rush towards us we've got a high pressure here that's developed and then low deepening low pressure here so air flows from high to low pressure in in order to aid and uh, heal the atmosphere it, it's a, a process of, of not not so much as healing but uh, balancing it out and so you know when one area is deepening another low another place where the pressure is high sends that pressure the pressure rushes to it and, it, and it's going to strain out in the mountains. We'll experience those high winds uh, moving into uh, early Saturday morning and Saturday evening as that low pressure deepens off the coast. This northwest flow could last through Sunday, through Saturday evening even uh, in those higher elevation locations. So, so watch for that. I'll pull my snowfall map up one more time for you guys to look at and we'll go over it one more time. Uh, thinking that a, uh, a widespread uh, dusting to two inches will be possible in southwest western North Carolina. As you get closer to Waynesville, Asheville, you'll see those snowfall totals increase just a little bit. I think you'll have a little bit more effects from that deformation feature. And as we go north, northwest flow will kick in in these locations in the, uh, in the yellow and pink. Those are locations that could see two to four inches and then those higher elevations, most of these in pink are above uh, 4,000 feet. That's where you can see the three to six inches of snowfall. One to three possible around Asheville, one to three possible around Hendersonville, Brevard, Marion, Morganton. Uh, a dry slot possible, but this may not come to fruition. May need to adjust these to one to three as well across here, but uh, just watching for that and I uh, may need to adjust these maps as we move forward. So thank you for joining me. I'll have another update for you tomorrow and uh, we'll get all this nailed down for you. Have a great evening.